A cordial greeting. Today is Monday, September 15, 2025. This is meteorologist Ruben Garcia. In today's video I will be talking about several disturbances we are monitoring in the Atlantic Basin, in particular about Invest 92, which has a high probability of becoming the next cyclone of the season and possibly Tropical Storm Gabrielle. If so, it would put an end to a long period of inactivity we've seen in the Atlantic, where for 18 days we have not had any active cyclones in the middle of the peak of the season. In fact, since the satellite era, that is, since 1966, we have never had an 18-day period without cyclonic activity during the peak of the season. On average during this period, four storms and two hurricanes form. However, the 2025 hurricane season has so far only managed to develop one hurricane, which was Hurricane Aaron. As we can see in the following graphic shared by Michael Lowry, we are currently 50% below normal in terms of cyclonic activity measured by accumulated cyclone energy. But as I have mentioned in previous videos, conditions in the Atlantic should gradually become more favorable for us to see cyclonic activity again. First, with the possible formation of Tropical Storm Gabrielle related to Invest 92, and then we will be keeping a close watch on several tropical waves emerging from Africa that could encounter marginally favorable conditions for development. In addition, we will also be keeping an eye on the Western Caribbean in the long term, as some low pressure could develop in the area and perhaps find favorable conditions for development. So let's talk about the tropical Atlantic, where we have the newly designated Invest 92, which is associated with this strong tropical wave located halfway between the Caribbean and Africa. If we zoom into the infrared satellite animation, we can see that although it remains disorganized, it has maintained an area of active convection. These are signs that it continues in a process of cyclonic organization, although rather slow for now. This is due to the fact that it has a broad circulation and these systems take time to consolidate that circulation center. In this animation we can also see the next tropical wave emerging from Africa, which we will also be monitoring in case it finds marginally favorable conditions for development. There is the possibility that the National Hurricane Center will mark it with low probabilities of development over the coming days. For the moment, and according to the latest tropical outlook, you can see that the National Hurricane Center increased the chances of development to 50% over the next 48 hours and to 90% over the next 7 days as it moves west-northwest. And you can see that the area of possible cyclonic development currently remains outside the Caribbean, so it is expected to pass to the northeast of the region without threatening land areas. In the longer term, it could be of interest to the island of Bermuda, however, this is a long-range forecast and we still do not know exactly how far west or east this future cyclone could travel. In terms of track, the specialized models maintain that northwestward movement, taking the circulation center well away from the Caribbean region, and if this scenario continues it would not pose a threat to the Lesser Antilles or Puerto Rico. And although over the next five days Invest 92 will face some wind shear and dry air that will limit its strengthening, after five days the models project that it could strengthen into a Category 1 hurricane, but when moving into parts of the subtropical Atlantic, let's now look at the latest projections from the global models. Starting with the American model, you can see that in about 48 hours it develops a tropical depression or tropical storm, and then keeps that northwestward track passing well away from the Caribbean region. And notice that for the weekend it also shows two strong tropical waves, which are the next ones we will be watching for the possibility of being marked by the National Hurricane Center. On the other hand, we have the projection of the European model in today's afternoon run. It develops a tropical depression Wednesday night and then keeps that track toward the west-northwest, passing far from the Caribbean region during this weekend. Also, you can see that in about six to seven days the European model also shows a strong tropical wave moving across the tropical Atlantic. We also have the projection of the German model. In the latest run it develops a tropical depression or tropical storm between Wednesday and Thursday, as it gains latitude and moves away from the Caribbean region. And you can see that in about four to five days it also marks the other tropical waves that we will be monitoring. And Google's artificial intelligence model, which shows a very similar scenario the development of a tropical depression or tropical storm Gabrielle with a track over the open waters of the Atlantic. And in about five to six days it also marks the next two tropical waves. The UK model in about six days also develops Invest 92, perhaps approaching Bermuda, and keeps the next tropical waves quite strong. So we really do have a good amount of consensus that Invest 92 will be the next cyclone of the season, and it is likely that the probabilities of development will continue to increase over the next few hours. In addition, we are already starting to see consensus that we will have other tropical waves to monitor in the tropical Atlantic. And although for now it looks like Invest 92 will pass far from the Caribbean, it is still too early to talk about the tracks of the next tropical waves. In fact, we have quite a bit of confidence that Invest 92 will move away from the Caribbean, 
because the ensemble members of the American model all take the system to the north-northeast of the Lesser Antilles. In addition, you can see that some members already have the possible development of other low pressures associated with the upcoming tropical waves. We see the same thing in the ensemble members of the European model, with Invest 92 and what will likely become Tropical Storm Gabrielle passing far from the Caribbean. Also, the next tropical wave with probabilities of development in about 5 to 7 days. Meanwhile, Google's artificial intelligence model also sees movement away from the Caribbean related to Invest 92, while some are beginning to show the possible development of one of the next tropical waves. Lastly, but with a low probability of cyclonic development, in the long term we will be keeping an eye on the waters surrounding Central America, that is, in the Western Caribbean region and south of El Salvador and Guatemala, where some low pressures could develop in about 10 days, and perhaps find marginally favorable conditions for the development of one or two tropical cyclones. In fact, you can see that some members of the European model have the development of some low pressures, as well as the ensemble members of the American model. The important thing to emphasize is that there is no threat of a direct landfall. For now, Invest 92 does not appear to be reaching the Caribbean, although eventually it could be of interest to the island of Bermuda. And regarding the upcoming tropical waves, it is still too soon to know exactly how favorable the conditions in the tropical Atlantic might be and even less to determine a precise track. Remember these are long-range forecasts and they have a large margin of error. Well, that would be all for this video. But before I leave I want to invite you to give this video a like. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and click on the bell so you receive notifications when I record new videos. Over the next few days I will continue recording updates, so stay tuned to Hurricane Info. See you later.